In June 1988, Marie Wilkes was 22 and pregnant with her second child when she took a road trip with her baby son and her 11-year-old sister. They had been to visit her husband at an army training camp. As an inexperienced driver, Marie soon became lost and ended up on the busy M50 motorway. Disaster struck when a car broke down. Marie was forced to leave the two children in the car and walk along the busy road to find an emergency phone. She made it to the phone and spoke to an operator who tried to contact relatives for her. Suddenly, the only sound the operator could hear was the distant roar of traffic. Marie had simply vanished. Later, a police car spotted a younger sister wandering along the road with a baby in her arms. The girl was desperately searching for Marie. The roadside phone was found splashed with blood and the receiver dangling by its cord. Marie's body was later found in nearby woodland. She had been beaten and stabbed to death. Former soldier Edward Brown had been driving in the area following a row with his pregnant wife. Brown was arrested and found guilty of the murder. Five years later, he was freed after lawyers claimed at trial that police had hidden evidence. He received £600,000 in compensation. In May 2018, Brown was found dead at his home. The murder of Marie Wilkes, to this day, remains unsolved. On 24th September 2016, Corey McGee, a 23-year-old RAF airman, was on a night out in Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. At 1.20am on CCTV, he was seen alone, walking unsteadily through the empty streets. He slept for an hour in a doorway, and at 3.25am, he was seen walking into a loading area behind shops known as the Horseshoe. He was never seen again. There is only one way into the Horseshoe, and it has no CCTV. The only clue came from his mobile phone signal, which was 19 kilometres away. By 8am, it matched the movements of a bin lorry that left the horseshoe earlier. His family insisted that he would never climb into a bin, and police believe that the weight of his body would have alerted the driver. The local rubbish site was searched, but no trace was found. Cory remains missing, presumed dead. Mark Sutton was a vegetarian chef living in the French Alps. While cycling in the mountains, he was killed by a single shot fired by nearby hunters. They had thought he was a deer. A Facebook message appeared stating, I hope you rot in hell. For any horrified people reading this, I'm not some vicious troll. I'm the woman who gave birth to him. Sutton's mother went on to claim he had repeatedly assaulted his sister as a child. She finished insane. Karma called on you. <laughs>